This opponent might be a little more familiar than normal as coach Clint Conk returns to Conway, this time with Stephen F. Austin on his shirt. For any Division I football team, much of the off season and season is spent right here in the weight room. Whether it's outside running the bases on the altar field or inside taking a lesson, the field house of Conway has all the room one needs to learn, play, and practice softball or baseball. As you can see behind me right now, the number ones from defense are going up against the number one offensive line group. This is big this week as the battle of the trenches will be a big determining factor in who wins this game. One aspect that makes the Pee Wee football program here with the Optimist Club so unique is that every coach is USA football certified. USA football is a governing body of youth sports and football here in America. And um, it's sanctioned by the NFL. It's actually run by the NFL. And what it means is that each coach has went through a uh, specific training how to uh, tackle effectively and safely. Those are true words. You, absolutely, yep. your team, what they have done over these last couple of weeks, last couple of months, this team, the snowball effect is having the momentum, the confidence of this team. You guys yeah. still have a chance. The young man over my shoulder, the senior Jonathan Woodard, it's been a special year. Last season, he played with the jersey number number 90. This season, he's changed that to number three in honor of his late friend. Nice defense. And now Ethan Lee open for a big time dunk. The assist by Boo Milligan. And he's going to rip one into center field. That's an RBI single. Langley comes on the score. Hoover's on his horse. Hoover slides into third base. And something's cooking here at Bears State. Stephen F. Austin keyed in on Blake Beasley, knowing, hey, this guy ran for 292 yards two weeks ago. But wouldn't you know, Kelton Warren and then Jeff Anderson. Jeff it's Anderson. Just, we've been talking about the depth at running back, and it really did show tonight. For UCA, it's going to be a big game this weekend on the Stripes. It's winner to the playoffs as they play Sam Houston State. And joining me right now is head strength and conditioning coach Robert Steiner. Back inside the Ferris Center, where Wednesday night the Sugar Bears upset the number one team in the Southland Conference, the Northwestern State Lady Demons. Coach Campbell brought in his second recruiting class here in Wingo Hall for National Signing Day. He wanted to address size and strength and speed at all positions. 